minus one minute. One minute. The ground loss sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. I know. I didn't know. Booster joint heaters are being uh, deactivated at this time. We're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. T minus 38 seconds and counting. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. TLS is go for auto sequence start. T minus 25 seconds. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and the sound suppression water system has been activated. We have a go for main engine start. Three engines up and ready. Three, two, one, zero. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. Blazing a trail to scientific discoveries aboard space station. Discovery will program. Following it. Bye, Jerome Discovery. Here's official control of Houston. Space shuttle Discovery is rolling into a head down position, putting it on course for 51.6 degrees, 136 by 36 seconds. And eventually the International Space Station. more than four and a half million pounds and now uh, one minute and 27 seconds into the flight the main engines and solid rocket boosters have reduced that weight by about half solid rocket, bo rocket boosters alone are burning, burning 11,000 pounds of propellant per second and the external tank is now 3,000 pounds lighter than when it began discovery is now 21 miles away from its launch pad and uh, 22 miles in altitude, traveling 2,700 miles per hour. All three main engines are working just as expected. The three fuel cells are generating power and three auxiliary power units are all producing pressure. In short, everything's performing well. Two minutes and seven seconds into the STS-131 mission. Booster officer in the Mission Control Center has confirmed solid rocket booster separation. All systems continuing to, continuing to function well. Well, we see the two like, Two orbital maneuvering system engines on Discovery's tail are now firing as well, providing the shuttle an extra boost into orbit. Engine burn will last one minute and 44 seconds. Discovery, two engine tail. Discovery copy, two engines tail. That call indicates that can now reach Marone and Spain should one of the three main engines fail. However, all three of those main engines are currently working well. Two minutes and 59 seconds into the flight, and Discovery is now 79 miles away from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. 48 miles in altitude and traveling at 4,500 miles per hour. also seeing the first of many sunrises of the SDS-131 mission. Disco 
Discovery Houston, you are negative return. Discovery copy is negative return. Discovery is now flying too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine fail failure. That's not currently a problem, however, as all engines are continuing to perform as expected. Four minutes and 15 seconds into Discovery's flight. Shuttle's traveling 6,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 63 miles and uh, is 181 miles away from Kennedy Space Center. Environmental Systems Officer here in Mission Control confirmed that the flash evaporator system has been activated to provide cooling to the shuttle system until the shuttle cargo bay doors open and uh, double as radiators. Discovery, press to ATO. Discovery copies, press to ATO. Should two in the shuttle three main engines fail after this point, it can still reach its base, still lower than planned orbit, as that call from Capcom Rick Stilco indicated. Discovery is now five minutes and 42 minutes. Discovery is second to the Discovery, single engine box three. 67 miles in altitude and 351 miles away from Kennedy Space Center. Discovery could still make it across the Atlantic for an abort landing, even if two three, three main engines failed at this point. All engines are performing well. Discovery, single engine, Zaragoza. Discovery, copy, single engine, Zaragoza. Discovery now flying more than 10,000 miles per hour. 66 miles an hour and 430 miles away from Kennedy Space Center. Discovery, press to Miko. Discovery copies, press to Miko. And that call indicates Discovery can reach its planned orbit of 136 by 36 feet miles, even if one of the engines fails. All three engines are still working well. I advise you to the power unit and the three fuel cells. Discovery, you are single engine press. Your shutdown plan is nominal. Go for the plus X, go for the pitch maneuver. Copy, nominal shutdown plan. Go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Even if the engine would settle at this point, the Discovery could still make its planned orbit with just one. That shouldn't be necessary, however, as all three engines are still performing at full capability. Also, Capcom Rick